traditional stores may be losing ground to online competitors. So with the holidays coming up, they are fighting back. Target and Best Buy are offering to match the online prices of many products, and other big chains have other ideas. Jack Otter is executive editor of CBSMoneyWatch.com, is watching the competition and can sort it all out for us. Hello, Jack. Good morning. I'm thinking that this is good news for you, the customer. Uh, it is. It's bad news for the store. I mean, frankly, I think this is a sign of desperation. They've seen Circuit City go under. Best Buy is on the ropes. So they've said, okay, whatever those guys are doing, our competition that's killing us, we will match the price. Um, the problem is that what people are doing is they walk into a Best Buy or a Target, they check out the TV, the laptop, then they go home and they buy it on the computer. Mm. It's called showrooming. Yes. And one study found that about 12 to 15 percent of people actually have their smartphone in the store. They look at the TV, they check out the they model number, the and find out who's got the best price oh, and order it. Yeah. When they can buy it right there in front of them. Exactly. exactly. So which stores are matching the online prices? Sure. So first Best Buy came out and they said, we will match online competitors. There's a a list of 20. It's the obvious ones, such as Amazon, ones that people haven't heard of, like Newegg. Also, the manufacturers themselves, Dell and HP, they'll match those prices. And then the, the big box competitors like Sears.com, Walmart.com, and, so, and so forth. So, but how do you prove the online price? What, <laughs> what prevents me from saying, you know, I saw it over there at Target for $2? Well, that's the $64,000 question. With Best Buy, they say an employee has to go see the price on a store computer. Mm, Can you okay. imagine in Christmas, you know, holiday shopping, going, not totally getting the consuming. attention, getting yes. them over there. Yes. Target actually just this morning came out with its plan. Now, it says that you can actually use a handheld device to show the clerk the price that you're getting. They'll match that. But they both have slightly different deals. Best Buy has said, we're not going to mess around with this Black Friday craziness. So the week of Thanksgiving and Cyber Monday, this, this plan is suspended. Target is going right through. I suspect it's because Target doesn't have as many electronics. That's not, you know, that's where the real fight, the real battle takes place. And handheld device, you just mean your telephone. Exactly. I can yeah. just show you my phone. Look what I found. Exactly. No, I know that. And Walmart is taking on online retailers like Amazon. How so? Well, I think this is very interesting. So Walmart hasn't said it's going to match prices. My suspicion is because Walmart doesn't want to go out there and admit that anybody might have a lower price. Right. So they're taking it to Amazon where they live and they're saying they're going to offer same day shipping, which is kind of interesting because uh -huh. online won't offer that. Mm -hmm. so, so they're really trying to take the battle to them. This is very much uh, a, um, a test program, though. For 10 bucks, you can get as much as you want delivered to you that day as long as you order by noon. The problem is it's only in northern Virginia, Philadelphia, Minneapolis, and San Francisco. Not exactly the country, Jack. So it's just, it's just a test program. But I do think it's really interesting. If they can make this works work, there, yeah. then suddenly Amazon might be on its heels a bit. And Amazon might have to match what, what um, Walmart's doing instead of the other way around, which has been what's going on. On. So your, your takeaway for shoppers? Is uh, as well. My takeaway is summed up, and, and this brokerage house called William Blair did a study where they compared stores to Amazon. Best Buy was 16% higher on prices. Target was 14% higher. Even Walmart, 9% higher. Wow. Now that's average, so it doesn't mean the thing you're looking for is going to be 16% higher. But I was surprised that it was across the board that dramatic. So clearly, you can do pretty well online. Mm -hmm. So how do shoppers know how to get the best deal? Should they do this comparison shopping? Yeah, it's it's a little bit tricky. You have to really. The, there's no substitute for clicking a lot and going from site to site. There are some sites that'll help you. Mm -hmm. There's one called Price Grabber. Um, where you can register your email address, spider. and then there is spider. Sp spider. spider. Mm -hmm. uh, get it? Crawl the web? A spider? Haha. <laughs> I didn't get it until you said it. Uh -huh. uh, and then also our sister. Nora, did you get that? <laughs> no. Oh, but thank you, Jack. Yeah. Anytime. Um, our sister we site, need examples CNET. Here, Jack okay, go ahead. Uh, CNET will also um, show you the price on various electronics items. Mm -hmm. um, but none of them are perfect. I've found that maybe, say, a Costco or a Sam's Club, they're not crawled by the spider. Um, and so you do have to click around a lot, but use these. Register. And then they'll send you an email, hey, this TV you want is 10% is price, 10% uh, cheaper. So that is convenient. Got it. I like it whenever we can save money any way we can. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Always good to see you.